Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be something totally new for my channel. It's going to be me trying to take a small section of a big mock and keep it separate as a standalone display. And basically for this, it's going to be the bunker section from my Endor display, the collaboration that I did with Daniel Ross. And I'm going to try and keep that separate. I'm going to try to consolidate everything onto just one great base plate and still keep the atmosphere and feel of my Endor. And we're just gonna see how it goes. And I'll take you guys along with me. So this is what Endor looked like as a finished collaboration. And basically, if you split the little stream in half to the left, including the bunker and everything on that side, the Ewok village is what I built. And to the right with the big water section and the cliffs and stuff is what Daniel built. So when I brought it home, I tried to keep all of the plates and base plates all together. And obviously I took off the trees and some of the foliage and figures and stuff like that. But my goal is to keep the bunker and the terrain around it and try to make that look a little bit better on a revisit the way I did the foliage, try to have more of the green sword pieces as ferns. And I still want to keep the big redwood tree next to the bunker. And I'll add in a few little trees, maybe some sticks and branches on the ground and stuff. And then I guess figure placement because I'm not going to have enough space to do how I had it set up at the convention. So I'm probably going to end up just having a scout trooper, maybe chilling next to some speeder bikes or something like that. So at this point, I redid the foliage and I downsized the bigger tree next to the bunker and I added in a few smaller ones just to even out the height. And I went ahead and recreated one of the scenes from Return of the Jedi where the Ewok kind of sneaks down and steals one of the speeder bikes and causes the scout to chase after him. very, very good at it because you're talented. 